everyone this is Romy and I wanted to do a video on how um, um, I plant my potatoes and the potatoes that I'm using um, first of all let me show you what I'll be growing in this is a bag it is a basmati rice bag uh, we have a bunch of these at home because this is what we use for rice and we eat a lot of rice so um, this is what I use it has little holes in it that you know lets the water get out it has good good drainage so um, and it's a good size it's a small bag I believe this was a 10 pound uh, rice so uh, the reason I'm planting it in such a small bag is because of the potatoes that I'm using uh, they don't need a lot of hilling and um, there's you know I'm gonna harvest them when they're like at their baby stage because that's how I like them um, so I'm going to show you guys what potatoes I'm using and I apologize ahead of time I'm only using one hand and uh, trying to do this and show you guys. So um, I had gone to a supermarket, I can't remember, I think it was Walmart or food source, but they had fingerling potatoes and they were already sprouting when I got them as you can see. There's a bunch of sprouts on this and uh, I brought them home and I actually stuck them they had different kinds they had some red kind there were fingerlings and they had this kind and I stuck them in this green bag and I put them in a cabinet right in this green bag um, this is the bag that I got my asparagus roots in so the light doesn't go through you know it stays dark and I just left these because the sprouts hadn't come through yet but you know you could see the eyes so I left them in here for like two weeks and they are growing as you can tell, there's a one, hold on, let me try to focus that. Okay, so there's one, two, three, four, like five eyes on this. And there might be some poking through here too. So that's one potato. And then here's another one. This one's small. And these are fingerling potatoes. And there's like five um, eyes on this too. This one's all shriveled up, but it's growing, so I'm going to stick this in the bag. I'm going to actually plant these in two bags, so I'm just going to show you guys one bag and then do the next one. And then this one has some eyes too. So, I'm going to do them like this, where I'm going to plant these two in this bag and that in the bag. So, okay, though those are the potatoes. And uh, let me show you the mix in the bag. Okay, so here is the soil mix. I actually mix compost, um, like some home homemade compost, some rotten leaves from last year, and right here, and I crunch them up, and um, uh, some bark. I have some bark. There's very small pieces, but you can barely see them in here. But so I, I'm here you go I don't know if you can see that but that's the mix and uh, the, I use that mix because it's has good drainage and it's like a loose soil you know it's not too compacted compact compact um, and um, that helps with the potatoes and drainage so it it's a good mixture so I am just going to Put this, pick some little, you know, like take some dirt and move it aside. And I'm going to stick these two, I'm just going to stick them in there. Um, some people cut their potatoes. These are really small fingerlings, so I think they should be okay. So there, I'm just going to cover them with some soil and then I'm going to water them. And I have some compost. Uh, I've had some compost sitting in some water, um, some warm castings, and I've been shaking it here and there um, to make like a sort of a compost tea uh, or warm tea. And I'm just gonna, you know, water these with that, set them in a fairly, uh, you know, s um, s um, sunlit area. And um, yeah. So um, I'll keep updating on how this is going. This today is February. I mean March 9th. So uh, I'll keep updating this. Okay. So um, 
I will be right back after I water these and I set them down. So there's the bag. It's just going to sit there with my spinach and my lettuce. And uh, we'll see how that goes. I'll keep on updating you guys. Hope everybody's doing well and their garden is flourishing. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.